It's been 70 years since scientists and engineers working with the Manhattan Project detonated the first nuclear bomb. The Trinity site, ground zero for the first test explosion, is open to the public only twice a year. ABC7 reporter Julio Cesar Chavez was there today. He has a, more, a story you'll see only on ABC7. Hundreds gathered at White Sands Missile Range to visit the Trinity site, where the first nuclear weapon was tested in 1945. The site has exhibits showing the public everything that led up to the original explosion. Some parents use the opportunity to teach their children about an important part of history. They've never been this far out in the middle of nowhere, so um, and I just kind of fill in the holes uh, with the questions that they ask. An obelisk marks the exact spot where the bomb detonated decades ago. Just a short drive from Ground Zero, visitors were allowed to visit the ranch house turned museum where the bomb was built. And this room is where engineers assembled the experimental plutonium core. It was interesting to see just what remains from such a historical event. While many traveled to Trinity, history wasn't the only motivator. The scientific aspect of this, to me, is, is far more significant. A scientific advancement that changed the course of world history and happened in our own backyard. Julio Cesar Chavez, ABC7. White Sands Missile Range. The site is now closed. It won't open again until April 4th.